Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, today we are doing a mod review on a thing called an Aegis Legend. It's practically indestructible. I have one, and I just want to go over the basics with you and show you how it works. Uh, so let's get into the video. Okay, I'm back. I switched the camera around a little bit so my hands are in view instead of, you know, let's move the camera back a little bit, instead of my face so you don't have to deal with my ugliness anymore, you know? But this guy, he's an Aegis Legend. Aegis Legend is practically indestructible. Sorry, I had the mic, like, not close to me at all. Alright, so you probably can hear me better now. But this is the Aegis Legend. He's really the indestructible beast. That's what it says right there. But this guy, going to bring the actual into view, is him. He's a really good mod so far. Um, I can vouch for it being indestructible. I've thrown this thing across the room and it is yet to break. Basically, you know, it's typical, you know, mod. It has, it goes all the way up to 200. Um, two 18650s is what, um, you know, powers it. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot. I don't know why. But this thing is dope as hell. And I'm using the Freemax, you know, Mesh Pro as the tank and it gives smooth hits it has regular wattage and then let's see it has bypass which reads the coil and tells you what type of coil it is and then it has vpc tc tci tcss tcni and just back to power again i'm gonna take the hit off this guy and you guys are gonna see how it works all right turn the camera around again i got my little age legend here he's not really little he's a big chunky boy it feels nice in the hand very you know grippy doesn't feel like you're gonna lose this in small drop it's not gonna break like an alien or a t-proof those are luxury mods as i want to tell them they say them as but i mean they're not horrible but they're not as durable as this guy this guy, he, an affordable price, usually $71.99, anywhere between the 60s and 70 range. Sometimes you can find them online for $60, which isn't really bad. Um, I got mine for $71.99, but I got mine for my vape shop, so I'm going to take that off. Smooth hit. No burnt taste at all. It reads the coil fine. It's reading this is a 0.15 ohm, and that's what the coil is. Uh, sometimes with like the aliens or the T pribs, generally smock. I haven't really had a problem with, you know, let's see, drag tube by Vupu. I, I haven't had too much of a problem with that. But sometimes with the smocks, they will read the coils wrong and give them the wrong voltage, which leads to burnt hits constantly, and that is horrible. With this one, I haven't had that problem yet. It has the gene chip in it. Well, no, I'm lying. I'm sorry. It has the AS chip in it, which is comparable to the gene chip, but not as good. Um, it's like 86% instead of 96% when it comes to um, how clean it hits. With this one, if you're hitting it at 86, you're probably hitting it at 75. But with the gene chip, you're hitting it with like exactly 86. That's with the drag tube. But this guy right here, if you're looking for a not so pricey mod and it is very durable, like to the point where you could probably chuck it off a three story like house and it would not break. It's, I would say, if you work in construction or something else, this would be the go to device. This device hasn't gave up on me yet and the reason why it's so durable is it has titanium in it. Like, it is titanium plated underneath this rubber. With the titanium, it's hard to bend. You could literally run it over with a semi, and it still, you could pick it up with, and hit it. It has not that much of a problem at all. You can sometimes find kits of them. I personally couldn't find a kit, but I already had a tank to go with it, so it doesn't really matter. 
I had the Freemax to go with it, but I also have an Aspire Revo, which would work on it fine. Um, Baby Beast would work on it too. Big Baby Beast, any, like, you know, tank would probably work on it. I haven't had too much of a problem with this not reading tanks correctly. Sorry. Um, with my T-Priv, which is the close to the first vape I've ever had, um, you could only use certain tanks on it because it wouldn't read the coils correctly. It'd tell me, uh, check atomizer or something else, and I've taken apart the coils, the tanks, everything, trying to fix it. And it'll never read the coils. I don't know why. I, I've only had that problem with the T-Priv. The Alien hasn't had that problem, but it kind of, you know, broke. <laughs> I mean, it is in pieces in my car, <laughs> so I may bring that in one day and show you guys. But other than that, if you're looking for a good vape that's reliable and probably won't give it up on you, I, I would say go with the Ace's Legend. Alright, I think that's all for this video. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye!